Guys, are we gonna stay at the ranch? Are we gonna go? All right, so we're going to talk about the pros and cons of staying here at the ranch or going back to Dallas. So we'll start with our first pro. Me, I'm a pro. But I'm the first pro. Okay, and he, these are not in any order. Yeah, no at order. All. Yeah. So one pro would be to one, we would live closer to the majority of Jason's family. If we stayed. I have not been around my family in like 15 years. I moved to the Dallas area long ago, and the only family I had was Jared and Matt. And then Matt moved down here again, and it was just me and Jared, and we missed a lot of holidays. We missed, I don't even know my little cousins. Don't even know them. They're like 16. <laughs> I met them the other day for the first time. So I have missed out on so much. My parents are getting older. They need help. Like you're going to find out in tomorrow's video. We're helping my parents out. And so that's a huge thing to me is I can get family back that I haven't had for over a decade. I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, well, what about Jaylena and her family? I'm not from Texas. My family is very spread out. I have one sister in Dallas in my nieces and nephews of hers. And so I do get to see them when I go to Dallas, but I don't think it would be, it'd probably be a, the same amount of frequency that I get to go see them because they lived an hour away when we lived in Dallas anyways. So. Yeah, so it wasn't up the street. We didn't go really see them as much. So realistically, that probably wouldn't change. We'd probably do holidays at my mom's together and I'd see them just as much as I did anyways. A con of staying here is kind of almost on the same thing. It's Jared lives in the Dallas area. Her sister lives in the Dallas area. And we have friends and neighbors, Tom and Rhonda. They were the best neighbors in the world. Could we leave them? I mean, for good? That's crazy. So besides Tom and Rhonda, and of course we see them often because they lived right next door, we do have other friends in the Dallas area that, of course, we would see more often. Yeah, then uh, coming down here. Luckily, you guys met my friend Austin. We went fishing with him and his dad. That's the one friend I really, really hang out with the most. And yes, he does come down here to visit family, but I wouldn't get to see him as often, so that'd be a bummer. But another pro of staying here is, this one's big for me, I love the lifestyle. I love hunting, I love fishing, I love the outdoors, I love being just in this environment where it's kind of sketchy. You're kind of <laughs> like, uh, is, is something going to attack me or can I attack something? I wouldn't say it's sketchy. I just think it is it is challenging. And <clears throat> if you've seen my five things I love about the ranch, then you guys know already that this lifestyle has really challenged me and has helped me become a different person, but in the best way possible. And I really enjoy having that, having that challenge in that that's something we didn't have in Terrell. Another pro for leaving would be that, of course, we would be near Dallas. It's a way bigger city than it is here, and there's a lot of stuff in the city that yeah. we don't have here. So here where we're at now, we got to drive at least 30 minutes to go to a store, a convenience store. And there's a Dollar General, but if you need to go to Walmart or something like that, it's a good 45 minute to an hour, depending on traffic, to get to a grocery store. Up there, there's a Walmart every three feet. <laughs> um, we live in Terrell up there, which is still about a 10 minute drive to Walmart, but that beats 45 minutes to an hour. So that's a big thing for us. And then not even just food, it's shopping. Terrell is very up and coming. And, and they have a mall coming. Strip malls. Movies. And, yeah, and lots of things. A that, Bucky's mm -hmm. and all that. And then not even just that, there's farmers markets all over the place, flea markets, what we love to do, Canton Trade Days, which is the biggest flea market, which we love to do. So there's so much stuff like that, that, that it's hard to leave that after having it for, for a long, long time. It's definitely a luxury. But another thing that I absolutely love, which was kind of on what we were saying earlier, there's so much hunting and fishing and stuff here. And not just animals, but stuff that grows here. There is literally, you can't starve out here. Even if you can't hit something with your old freedom stick, there's stuff that grows here that 
it's just unreal. We haven't even like tapped into it yet. That's something I also men mentioned in the five things I love about the range is the fact that the animals here, it's not like going to the grocery store to buy meat. These animals are wild animals. They are not pumped with chemicals. Zero chemicals. Hormones. All that good stuff that you get at the grocery store. Well, and like nail guy meat, it is super healthy for you. A lot of people say, uh, meat. Nail guy meat is good for you. Your dad was actually telling me that nail guy meat was brought, that was one of the reasons why nail, nail guy meat was brought over was that Texas was trying to populate the cattle so they brought in the nail guy to eat because it is very, very healthy. If you want to research that, they're, they're from India, not South Africa. <laughs> And they're super, super healthy for you. So another pro of going back is that it is a more comfortable lifestyle, if you want to call it that. You know, as you know, we live in this trailer here at the ranch. It's dirty, nonstop. There's nothing you can do to keep the dirt out. You can sweep. And guess what? There's still dirt and you can't get it all. And that's before we even put the sand over by the camp house. So it's just one of those where it's just super dirty. And then here it's like we're in this whole thing. We have one little AC unit. Um, this was not built to live in this was built to come hunt and stay for a few days yeah, and that's pretty much it camping yeah it's not built for full time and yes if we stayed we would build our own house and all that stuff here but that would take time so being up there it's a little more comfortable we have a travel trailer to stay in we have jared's house to stay in um it has a fenced off um, yard so predators aren't getting in the dogs can kind of roam freely um it's just we got internet up there. It's just a more comfortable lifestyle. And up there and being down here, it's more roughing it. Yeah, we can't just drive to the store every day. Like if I have cravings, I can't just go buy a pint of ice cream. It's just not that easy, which can be good. You're going real comfortable here. That's what you're talking about. She's talking about getting real comfortable. Mm -hmm. I can just run to the store and get an ice cream sandwich comfortable. Yeah. Here it's like, that's a hopefully we have a bottle of water that's frozen. It's the closest you're going to get to ice cream because you go shopping <laughs> yeah. once a week and that's it. Yep. So the next thing that's big for me, and again, this is in no order whatsoever, keeping the ranch alive if we stayed. Who's going to maintain around the camp house all the work we did, you know, the mowing and weeds and all that. Someone needs to cut, you know, fence lines and pathways and just keep it going you know it's just you guys saw from the beginning it was dead not just the grass or anything like that but it was just dead it was overgrown it was it was embarrassing so keeping the ranch alive would definitely be um it, it's something that we can do for a long time that we can be proud of that we yes. could tell our kids about that's definitely not something that we have necessarily in Terrell where we three were living on two acres half of which was dedicated to the goats and stuff and so there wasn't a whole lot to work with not a whole lot to invest in as far as the difference like there's so much here that we can invest in that there's projects we can do there's so much opportunity for us to yes. just do things and build things and that it's something that we can preserve throughout you know our entire time here yeah and not even just for us but like for the whole entire for family. the family and it's you know you guys know that we came here for granny to fix this up for the 100 days for granny but then what you know what about, you know, for my little cousins that are growing up? Who's taking care of it for that? My uncles, I mean, they took care of this place forever. Um, my uncle Vern pretty much did a whole lot, and he's getting older. He's got a lot of stuff he's got to do. My dad's getting older. You guys know that my dad hasn't been feeling that well, so it's not like he can come out and do all this stuff. My uncle Vance, he's a dentist, and he's busy, and he flies to Arizona and stuff a lot. So it's, who's going to take care of it? If we're not here keeping it alive, you know, who's going to do it? And that's not to put blame on anyone in the family. It's just you guys know the fact that we're sitting here on YouTube right now. YouTube has given us the opportunity yeah, to Yeah, we, we've been fortunate enough. This to be able to come out here and live out here. And not everyone in Jason's family has had no. that. Luxury. We didn't even have this luxury until recently. Mm -hmm. And so if we don't step up and do it now, I'm afraid it's just gonna die. So another pro of moving back up to the Dallas area is there is a lot more work opportunity outside of YouTube. Yes, or even for YouTube, I guess. It's different content if we had events to go to and stuff like that. But you guys know, well, some of you know, Jalen and I work for bands and we did weddings and you know photo shoots and this and that we did video and photo for companies and bands and you know it's there's not a whole lot of uh opportunity when you're in the middle of nowhere so it's it's here and there but not 
like it is in Dallas. Yeah, not even close. And it's very, very hard to run a business when you're in the middle of nowhere unless you do YouTube because that makes it very easy. But when you're trying to um, supplement your income by doing photos for people or video for people and you're in a town that has 1,500 people, it's kind of hard. When you're up there in Dallas and there's just thousands upon thousands of people and businesses, it's pretty easy. You have uh, way less competition because it's spread out so much. You have way more um, customers. So being up there 100% is better when it comes to business. Another pro of living here at the ranch is one we have plenty of space and we have lots of privacy it's the total opposite of uh what we just said about so much opportunity and business up there you're in the middle of nowhere you're you're in a small town you don't have to see anybody if you don't want to see anybody and i love that i love my privacy i love being here we we were very very lucky in terrell to have amazing neighbors um tom and Rhonda. We hit the lottery with them. There's no other way to even describe it. There, it didn't, every day, hey, we wave to each other and stuff. Out here, we don't have to do that. Yes, there are other ranchers that we see coming through here and there, but to be out here and to be in the middle of nowhere, I 100% enjoy. I enjoy my privacy. I enjoy being secluded from people. Um, it helps me mentally more than anyone will ever know. I think a, something a lot of people don't think about is one, you don't see our entire lives on YouTube. You see a fraction of it. And Jason and I being ma newly married, living on two acres with Jason's twin brother, I'm sure you it's guys- difficult. <laughs> well, I'm sure you guys could understand that. Of course, we like our privacy down here. I'm sure Jared is really enjoying Yes. Having his own space, being able to do literally do whatever he wants to do and not have to think about other people. Or tippy toe around mm -hmm. and, you know, it's- Jared's a single guy. He's probably maybe talking to a lady. Living it up, you guys. It's you know? a little easier to have someone come over when you don't have your uh, twin brother and sister-in-law sitting there. So it's kind of... When your hot tub's in the backyard and our trailer's in the backyard... We can kind of see what you're doing. <laughs> but um, it's... It's one of those things where it's not just us. We think it's we have to think about Jared as well. And you know, yes, we do miss having Jared around and it's fun and all that, but we do enjoy our privacy. And I'm sure it's the same thing with Jared. Me and Jared are twins. We've been with each other our entire lives. And talk about not having privacy. So it's it's probably this has been a great opportunity for both of us, I would assume. Yeah, I mean we're all adults and we're all living and enjoying our own lives. So another pro about going back to Terrell is that we would save a little bit of money because of the bills. So when we came down here, I don't know if a lot of people know this or not, we're still paying all the bills back home. Um, we Our can't, part, not the not everything. Yeah, not the everything. <laughs> when we came down here, we said, we're not going to just say, hey, we're leaving for 100 days. We ain't paying nothing. We're not here. We ain't paying. We're still paying our portion of the land and all, you know, the bills. Utilities. Like, yeah, even utilities and everything. Um, we're still paying our share of it. And the reason we did that, it's like, no, we're not using water. No, we're not using electricity and stuff. But Jared still has to fill up the ponds. He's still got to feed the animals. He's still, you know, all that stuff. So it's not like he can just shut it down. That's just not how it works. So we're still paying the bills there, but, but on top of that, we're also paying bills here. The electric bill and stuff here. So at the ranch, because somebody's got to pay it. We, it's not right for the family to pay the electric bill out here at the ranch if we're the ones here. So we would actually save money by going back and not having to pay double bills. Because if we do stay, we would still pay the bills that we're paying. Uh, up for, the land yeah, and barn and all that type of stuff. If we stay, we got to pay a little extra. So there's, you guys know we don't make a million dollars. We're not flat broke. We've actually and I'll be completely honest with you guys. We're the most comfortable now than we've ever been. Which isn't saying not much. Not saying much, <laughs> but we're not we're not stuck eating ramen noodles every day and our date night is Taco Bell. You know, now we can actually now go to... Now we don't have a Taco Bell. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> now we can actually go and, you know... I can actually buy, like, a decent dinner and we can yes. have, like, a real date night and eat a good meal. Yes. Of course, I make we make it at home. We don't just... Every now and then we'll go out to eat, but we don't go out to eat very often, and so... We're doing better than we were, but we're still not... We ain't living up the YouTube life that a lot of people think we for some reason we're living. We ain't making arms money, but um, we're doing night. Yeah. So I think this may actually, this wouldn't be number one on the whole pros or anything, but I this is huge. huge. I mean, huge. This is close up to like being with family. 
if we stay, we need to live in something. And you guys know we want to do a tiny house, a shed to house, something like that. Something of that nature. So, being in the middle of nowhere, the biggest perk is no restrictions. We can build whatever we want, however we want, and we could do it ourselves. Yeah, we could do 100%. it. We could do electric, we could do plumbing, we could do it all. And we could show you guys, and that's the big thing. We weren't able, we could have, up there in Terrell when we built the big 60 by 50 Jared's house. We could have showed you everything, but there's things that we couldn't do. And I felt weird being like, hey, this is how you do it. You hire somebody. You know, you just... No, it, it, that's not what we were going to do. That's not what our channel is. So if we stay, we can, we can take you guys along for the entire process. Literally from the beginning, whether we build it from the ground up or get a shed delivered and we do it from that. We can show you delivery to finish or from nothing to finish. To me, that's awesome because there's a lot of people that don't know how to do stuff. We are not professionals, but that's the whole point of it is to show you guys we're two normal people. If we can do it, you can do it. I think our Shed to House playlist has helped a ton of people. I can only imagine how much more help it could be if we were able to do that. Yes, and speaking of Shed to House, we have been in talks with uh, Dirksen. We will fill you guys in with all that. In an upcoming video. Yes, and so just know that we have contacted the main headquarters and we're going to sort out what has happened. Um, we'll leave it at that. But guys, what do you think? At this point, we're just, I'm lost. I'm lost. I am stuck in the middle because there is such good and bad things of staying and such good and bad things of going back. I mean, we are just, you know, trying, we're thinking about it a lot. We are thinking of every possible good thing and bad thing, what, what's going to happen and everything. But I think the biggest thing that we need to think about and focus on is what's best for us. Yeah, and our situation right now. We are not saying if we stay that we're going to stay forever. And we're not saying if we go back that we're going to go back forever. It's just we need to figure out what's best for us in the moment. And if we build a tiny house here or a small shed to house or even a big shed to house, it's not, be, it's not going to be based around if we have kids how many kids we have and all that because we don't even know if we can have kids. We don't even know really if, you know, we're going to stay here for six months, six years, or if we're going to go back to Terrell and stay there for six months or six years. We don't know. Um, we didn't even know we were going to have the opportunity to do YouTube like if, this. If you told us a year ago that we'd be where we are today, we wouldn't I would believe laugh. you. Um, because so. we've been doing daily vlogs for less than a year, and I have learned... You cannot plan it for the future that far in advance because you never know what's going to happen. You can, but that doesn't mean that your plan will always work out. follow through. Yeah. So we're just going to leave you guys with that. Please, 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 you guys know we enjoy your opinions. Some of you, not so much. But we do enjoy because even if you're talking trash, sometimes it does bring up good points. So, guys, please let us know what you think. If you are new to our channel, which a lot of you, we've been seeing a lot of subscribers come in, please check out our old Shed to House stuff that we've done. Please check out the beginning of the Ranch Rescue and why we're doing this. I will leave both playlists at the end of the video for you guys to check out. Yes. And please, please, please check out Jared's channel. It's Jared Crocker. You're going to get a sense of who he is who we would be going back to. Um, and so it's just, there's a lot that goes into this. If you're new, you got to go back and watch. And we're not saying go binge watch everything, you know, of all our videos, but you can if you want. There's a lot to learn about us so and it's all there so you guys if you enjoyed this video if you can't wait to see what happens whether we stay here or go back to Terrell make sure you like this video make sure you hit subscribe and notify all and all that good stuff and of course as always thank you so much to WeBoost for allowing us to upload this video out here yes. at the ranch because talk about a lifesaver we have 4g cell service yes and if you're interested in something like that there is a link down below don't ever feel obligated to buy it we couldn't post this video right now in a timely manner if it wasn't for we boost it used to take us eight hours to post a video now, now it takes like 30 minutes which yep. is bl it blows my mind that is the fastest cell service i have ever had it is faster than any Wi-Fi I've ever had to upload videos on. Like, yeah. it's crazy. It just blows my mind. So, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And all you guys that have been here since the beginning, thank you so much. All you guys that are just joining us now, thank you so much. This means the world to us. Welcome to the Crocker family.
If you guys are interested, of course, we have Instagram, we have a Facebook, but we also have something really special to us. Uh, we have a Facebook, a private Facebook group called the Crocker Family. It is a group. Request to join. We'll add you, and that's pretty much a yeah, way to kind of... Yeah, and that's to get a note to get to know all of you guys. Yeah, that's our way of getting to know you guys and feeling like we know you on a on a deeper level, I guess. And we absolutely love it. And we really do feel like you guys are family. And yep. and we're getting to meet you guys at uh, meetups and stuff like that. So it's cool, but we've talked too long. So we will see you tomorrow. You know Jason can't stop talking and he doesn't know how to say goodbye. So goodbye. Guys, before we leave, exciting news. Mom started a YouTube channel, so go to her channel and subscribe. She started with 23 subscribers. Yes, I did. Never had a video. So <laughs> let's get her a thousand subscribers because why not? It'd be awesome. I know a thousand of you will go over. Exciting news. Go check it out. We'll link it. Awesome. Come on over and party. You heard her. Do it. <laughs>